well, good evening. No, good night, my stitchy friends. We are here for episode number three of Stitching After Midnight. I am so glad you're all joining me this e- tonight. I wanted to say this evening, but it's not evening anymore. It's nighttime. <laughs> It's almost 12.30, so we are definitely after midnight. But I'd like to welcome all of you new people and people who have been hanging around for a while. Thank you so, so much for giving the channel a chance and those of you who have been here for coming back for another episode of Stitching after midnight. How'd you like the music? (laughs) I thought, oh, I got to find some spooky type music to go along with this. It, it, stitching after midnight kind of reminded me of, um, like the twilight zone or, you know, something, something a little on the spooky side. (laughs) So I had to kind of try and find appropriate music to um, welcome everybody in to this video. So again, thank you for joining me. So tonight, I am still, and I will be for quite some time, stitching on my version of The Sewing Woman. And if you remember, this is one that I uh, charted myself. I used uh, Winstitch, uh, the charting software that a lot of people, especially a lot of designers, use. It is a wonderful program. Now, all I did was get the picture of the sewing woman and put the the uh, app through its paces and said okay this is what I want I want a chart this big and this many colors and just gave it all the the yada yada yadas and what came out came out and that's what I'm stitching So we shall see how it turns out. I am kind of, I need my goggles here. I'm a little excited to see just, here they are, just um, how it's going to turn out. Is it, is it going to turn out as good as my mock-up picture looked? Is it going to turn out as good as the version that Heaven and Earth made? Is it going to turn out as good as the version that Golden Kite made? I mean, there are some other places out there where you can where you can get this chart. So I'm just anxious, anxious to see. See how it goes. You know, and it's going to be what oh, am I going to shift around again. I thought I had that fixed. We'll see. Okay, I know what I know what I did the last time that fixed this. What it's trying to do is follow my hand. So, we don't want it on autofocus. That's the that's the issue. Let me see if I can, if I can switch that. Well, oh, because, okay, got to take these off and put my regulars back on because I can't see. (laughs) Oh, Lordy. Okay. Maybe I have to let's 
this screen off. Well, you didn't go away. Well, now the last time all I had to do was click on this and it It changed it. Okay, let's. Okay. Here we go. True to needle bug form is a technical dilemma. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, I might have to jostle you around a little bit. Okay. Hang in there with me, folks. Okay. That's what it was. Okay, here we go. Oops. Coming back. Technical, technical, technical issues. <laughs> okay, I think that should fix it. We shall give it another go. Okay, now let's get the chair scooched in. And we shall see what happens. Okay, I think it was what was on my phone or the way my phone was set was causing the issue. Speaking of issues, holy smokes. <laughs> I have been trying to record this video for this is night Number three, I tried on Saturday night. I tried on Sunday night. Only to here we go only to thank heaven, thank heaven, I checked the recording before I uploaded it. Because on Sunday or uh, Saturday night, it was, oh, the picture was fine. But the sound was nothing but static and all kinds of noises that you would not believe. And I went, well, there is absolutely no way on this good earth that I could post that video. And I put it in my um, editing software and tried to fix it or at least do a voiceover so I did the voiceover 
when I played it back again. Thank heaven. Because it was the same thing. Still, more static than you would choose to believe. And I thought, oh crap, <laughs> now what? <laughs> so I said, well, I, I, I just, you know, there, there comes a point when you get so frustrated that you just got to walk away from it. So that's where I was Saturday night. I just had to walk away from it. So, okay, we were, had some things that we did on Sunday, so I really didn't try and deal with it until I went to, well, no, I, I did try and fuss with it a little bit during the day on Sunday. And then I went to record Sunday after midnight. And the same thing happened. It wasn't quite as bad, but the same thing happened. And I'm going, oh, fantastic. Now what? Now what? <sighs> so again, I had to walk away from it because I was just getting way, way, way too frustrated. Okay. So today, during the day, I try to, again, fuss with it. <laughs> and it was still happening. And I was on the computer and I checked every possible setting to try and get it to straighten out and it didn't. And I thought, oh gosh, well, let me think some more about this. So my husband has gone to bed. So of course we all know that Karen is up till God only knows what time in the morning. So I thought, okay, let's come over here in the porch in my, I'm going to start calling it my studio. <laughs> and let's see if we can one more time try and figure this out. So I came over here. It's locked again. I'm not going to fuss with it. I came over here and on your computer, or at least on my computer, I have a, a sound recorder where I can talk into the mic and see what it sounds like and make any adjustments and what have you. So I came over and I did that and I thought, and it did the same thing again. And I thought, oh, come on. What the world is going on here? I had restarted the computer. I have unplugged the mic, plugged it back in again. Now, where I made my mistake is I didn't unplug the end of the cord that was attached to the microphone. I unplugged it from the computer itself. Well, tonight, I was on the back of a Yeti blue microphone. There's adjustments. So I was making adjustments and I happened to flip 
the thing upside down. To which I noticed my cord is fraying. Well, I went, imagine that. Do you think that maybe that is the problem? Well, it just so happens, and lucky for me, that it's been quite a long time ago I was having microphone issues. And I thought it was the cord when it wasn't. But at that point in time, I had bought a, a cord thinking that that was the problem back then. So when I saw this cord was frayed, that, came, that memory came back. Imagine that, that's, <laughs> I'm surprised I remembered. But I thought, no, wait a minute. I think I have another cord for this microphone. So I went fishing in my drawer of computer supplies and cords and all that good stuff to find the exact cord that I needed. I switched the cords and here we are tonight able to make a video. Huh. Such an ordeal. <laughs> Such an ordeal. Oh. Always something. You, you know what? You want to do a video that is of a, of good of good quality and that people would enjoy and they certainly don't want to hear all the the static from a microphone. I mean, that's a lot of what can make or break your videos is the sound. So hopefully this is back up to snuff. And I'm not sounding like I'm in a static old tin can. So we shall see. So tonight I am able to record the third episode of Stitching After Midnight. Now, I do have a question. Yeah, just leave it to me. I always have a question, don't I? Always something. But my little head wheels were turning. And I'm wondering. That's a little scary, isn't it? But I'm wondering. Would you like I, I can, I can't put a poll on a video, but would you like some of the episodes of Stitching After Midnight to be live? Would you want me to go live at this time of night and stitch on the sewing woman. I know that might be an issue for some people here in the States because, well, right now it's 20 minutes to one o'clock. So it's gonna be late, however, Across the pond, let's see, you're five hours ahead of 
well, I'm I'm thinking of like the UK is five hours different. So there it would be going on going on six o'clock in the morning. So yeah. But you never know. You never know. But I did think about, oh, maybe these would be nice to do a live stream. So let me know what you think. It's just, it's just a thought. You never quite know. But there are parts of the world that are probably up and awake. I mean, I, I think, I don't remember the exact time difference, but I think people like over in maybe Australia and over that way are up and have their day going. So, I mean, it's just, it's just a thought that I had. If people would like to, to have a live stream for these sessions, that would be great. Um, another way to, well, it, it, another way to accomplish that would be to um, still call it stitching after midnight, but have the live, live stream before midnight. Like, I don't know, throwing a number out there, 10 o'clock in the evening, Eastern time, or you know, because then people in the States would still be up. People across the pond, however, would um, probably be... Why do we have... <laughs> I know we have to have time zones, but odd oh, key whiz. <laughs> so, yeah. Any input to that would be very much appreciated and uh, because I would like to have this particular um, I don't know should we call it a series or use this particular title to come online and just stitch on the sewing woman. Kind of like the thing I did, well, yeah, like the thing I did with Stitcher's Retreat where all my um, videos and episodes were stitching on Stitcher's Retreat. Well, I need to find my scissors here. And everybody kind of, everybody followed the progress of Stitcher's Retreat from, oh, I don't know, when I started recording that, I think I was, I don't think I was halfway. I think over the, over time, the videos showed most of it, most of the stitching on that. So, okay. Okay, where did I jump from there? Oh, 
here. I think I messed myself up. I did. I have to take this out. Okay, that's what happens when you... Uh, which means I probably have to take this out. All your chit-chatting, Karen. We make mistakes, but that's okay. The frog comes to visit us all upon occasion. But anyway, where was I? So anyway, <clears throat> let me know what you think about that idea. I just thought it would be kind of fun to have a, an after dark. But I could change the name of this to, instead of stitching after midnight, stitching after dark. And do the same thing. But I would like to have this, the videos that will show this and be stitching on this particular project and just follow the follow the stitch now it's not going to be done in six months <laughs> it's not going to be done in a year <laughs> maybe with any amount of luck it'll be done in two or three years <laughs> So think about it. You'd get a lot of videos out of that. And you get... Okay. It was up here that I made the mistake. So, oh, look. Look, 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 look. I did a little bit of a... How many times have you gone to frog something and you can't remember the exact path that you took? Happens to me. Happens to me. Now, for these videos, what I'm going to have to do is I have a picture, a funny picture of a frog that uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to bring on to the onto the video and flash it every time I have to frog. <laughs> I just thought about that. Oh, see, sometimes my mind at, after midnight gets a little um, wacky. But that is a thought to change it to stitching after dark instead of stitching after midnight. And then if we want to do a live stream, I could do it before it gets so late. Or I could vary it from earlier, after dark earlier in the, in the day, or much later during the night just some thoughts like i said let me let me know what you think let me know what you think it will be it will be fun oh uh, let's see so what have you all been up to and what are you stitching on I have been over the weekend. I went to the fall getaway at Hershey Hotel. 
was put on by Lynn Ann Events. Now the the uh, retreat was for the whole weekend, but I live so close. I could have gone driven back and forth every day, but I could not see paying to stay at the Hershey Lodge when I just live <laughs> 20 miles away. So what I opted to do was just go for the day on Saturday, which I did. And it was quite a lovely time. We had was it was a lot of fun now don't ask me how many stitch how much stitching i got done don't even ask i'll tell you but don't even ask <laughs> i was lucky oh, i'm pulling two threads here okay just keep pulling and we'll split them um, I was lucky if I got, and I don't think I did, if I got 50 stitches done. But I don't think I did. What the world is happening here? Now, did I do a lot of socializing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. Now, seriously, think about it. Those of you who go to retreats, I know some of you don't live or are not able to attend but if you do ever get the chance, do go. They are really a lot of fun. Well, for some reason, this little bunch of thread got all befuddled. Look at that mess. <laughs> I don't know why it kind of pulled on itself. So I'm going to see if I can untangle it, but I don't know if I can. Um, yeah, if you ever get a chance to go to a retreat, go. Even if you don't know anybody, still go. By the time you leave, you will know a whole lot more people. You will leave with some new friends. So it was just a lovely, lovely, a lovely time. I uh, got there and I knew I had planned to meet up with some people because that is the other nice thing is you, you, make friends at these things and the next time you go you try and meet up with the people that you became friends with the last time you were there so that's always a fun a fun thing of oh I met so and so there last time I was there I'm going to get to see her or him again and yeah that's that's a a lot of fun. Now, I um, had a local friend, well, two local friends that I knew were going to be there. So I met up with them. Uh, my friend Barb, who is my, my uh, forever stitching buddy, who usually when we go to further away, retreats her and I go together and I always call her my chauffeur because 
when it's when it's um, highway driving or like when we go down to uh, when we went to the retreats at Salty Yarns in Ocean City, Maryland, she always drove to those. We might take my car, but then Barb will drive my car. Um, when I went to Flower Power, same thing. We went together and, oh, why am I having a hard time here? And she drove my car. So I, Barb was there. Now she lives even closer to the Hershey Lodge than I do. So it was <laughs> kind of stupid for us to, oh, okay, I'll meet you at your house and we'll go to no. <laughs> we just met each other there. There's another local gal. I think it's my needle is bent and not playing nice. Uh, there's another local girl that actually lives close to Hershey also. And we met up with her there, Debbie, Debbie Chamberlain. And it was really nice to see her again. Um, it was it was kind of funny. Um, I met Debbie years ago when I was teaching Hardanger classes through a local shop. And there were, oh, this is not a good meal, but we're going to use it. There were some people that, um, because of that, and they couldn't, for whatever reason, maybe they couldn't attend the class, but I taught several people at my house. And Debbie was one of them. I remember I, she was in one of my classes, but I had totally forgotten that she came to my house to take the class, which was kind of nice to remember that. So, you know, I met, met up with her there. And then another floss tuber sat with us. And I had planned on, we planned on meeting up um, Cynthia, the intuitive stitcher, sat with us. Now, if you have not watched her channel, please do go give her a peek and show her some love. Lovely person, lovely person. Truly enjoyed spending the day with her as well as everybody else there. And Cynthia brought with her a stitching friend, Sally. So hello, Sally. It was a pleasure also to meet you and spend some time with you. And there were one, two, three other ladies at the table who were new to me people, who were also very, very nice ladies. And I am hard pressed to remember names. I remember one of them was another, was Barb or Barbara. And I remember that because it was, her name was the same as my friend Barb's name. And there was another, oh wait, she had a very, very unusual name, but it was a neat, it was a very neat name. Put her in my contacts. Clemen, Cle Cle not Clement. Oh no! Wait, let me look. Let me look. Clement. 
context. Her last name was Getty. Celestine. Is that not a cool name? Celestine. So if you are watching Celestine, thank you so, so much for spending the day with it, with us. And it was a pleasure to uh, get to know you also. And there was one more gal and I deeply, deeply apologize because for the life of me, I can't remember her name. Faces, I can remember faces like there's no tomorrow. Names, well, that's just another story. Names, I am terrible at. But we had a very, very lovely time. I did not do much stitching. I did a whole, whole lot of talking. And I had taken Pandemic along to stitch on because I really need to get that finished after all of you guys that uh, stitched on that for me. And here I am lollygagging around and not getting it finished. So that is, needs to be on my agenda <laughs> to do. So, yeah. So that is probably a lot of why I did not get much stitching done because everyone was ooing and eyeing over that piece. And then, of course, I had to tell the story behind the piece. And um, I'll save that for another time. <laughs> I will save that for another time, but it was just a lovely, lovely day. And even though I didn't stitch, I was tired till I got home. I didn't stick my chart up on there today. I will next time. The little white square that you see is the portion of the chart that I am stitching. And the furthest these stitches over here is the end of a page. And as you see, I'm not, I don't know that I have a method other than the fact of I'm going cross country. But what I am doing so that I don't get terribly, terribly lost is I'm treating this finished area as an island for lack of oh fooey, for lack of a better way to put it it is my my island and I am just gradually working off of it filling in the colors now it's kind of I guess maybe it's sort of the same principle as Gemma Gemma stitches, but I am not, um, as you can see, being careful about not blocking in <laughs> the X's if the color needs to. I'm just plain following the color. So I will stitch 
I will thread the needle. I will stitch the color until one of two things happen. I run out of that symbol or I run out of thread. If there's a lot more of the symbol, I will rethread my needle with the same color. If there isn't a lot more of that symbol, then I will go back up and pick the next color and stitch that color until either there are no more of that symbol in that area or I run out of thread. I guess it's kind of similar to what Stitching Mommy does. But see, here's the thing. I am much happier to put a length of thread in and stitch as opposed to all the rethreading that parking takes. Yes, there are times, there are times where my mood is I want to do parking. But there are many more times where my mood is just give me a strand of loss and let me move on. <laughs> but you know, we're all different and that's okay. We all stitch. The whole bottom line is stitch the way that makes you happy. Just. This is not a job. This is a hobby. And just stitch the way that makes you happy. Okay. Well, my friends, I am looking at having been here for the best part of an hour, and I really don't like these to be too terribly long. So with that, I think we will call it a night. Let me know what you think about doing lives for this series. Should we change the name to Stitching After Dark as opposed to Stitching After Midnight? Food for thought. I will do either one or both. Not a big deal. So with that, my friends, I bid you all good night. Sleep well. Stitch what you love. Love what you stitch. And I will see you the next time. Oops, where's my sound here? There we go.